so hello how are you how have we had a really good day what's everybody been up to um i'm talking to myself at the moment oh good oh brilliant thank you hi marisol how are you so i hope you're in your craft room everybody and just crafting along with me as uh, as i'm crafting and talking and i've got a few things i need to do as well because i have a workshop uh, next weekend and i want to get a few things done for that so what i thought we would do with some master boards now i'm just going to find it because uh, as always i've left my master board things over here so for what we're going to do today is i'm just going to do loads and loads of master boards now master boards are something it's a nice easy way to do backgrounds and just with using paints and your stencils and stamps and if you want to you can use your watercolor brushes or watercolor paints you can use um, your pencils all things like that just to create a lovely big background so this is what we did the other day or I didn't do this my friend did um, she did these so she's done all it is is your A4 sheets and just loads and loads of um, colour down and then this is one I've done I haven't actually finished this one yet um, I've got to add my some more stencils and maybe some stamps and then this is another one uh, my friend did and um, really bright and vibrant I love it it's so colourful that one so I thought we'd do something like that and we're aiming to cut it all down and then you end up um, with like little segments and this is like an ATC size and but I want it to actually go into uh, a lanyard because for my workshop for their name tags I've got some lanyards and they're going to have right, their names so. on them like so, so that got my gloves on so I've got my my sheet now with this you can use a brayer you can use a sponge you can use your fingers you can use a brush um, you can use anything that you want to just get your paint down onto your um, substrate now the only thing I would say is be careful with your colors now because you don't want to mix some colors together like orange and purple you will get brown so you need to be careful if you're not very um, au fait with the color wheel then what I would suggest is I would maybe try them out on a piece of paper first just at the side of you and mix them together and see what color you get that way you know that they're gonna either go and make some beautiful colors or they're not and they're going to be uh, mud so that's how I kind of learnt it the other thing is to get a color wheel and that way you can see what colors go where but just um, for a quick thing that that's what I do so I've got some colors here now I did um, blues and pinks and um, and a green one last night so I think I might go with some orange and maybe red and orange maybe some red let's have a look I've got some red lipstick and yellow so let's get the cerise down and see what that is so this is like a pinky colour now this is semi opaque so you will be able to see a little bit of the paper underneath or the colour underneath so what am I going to do? Am I going to do fingers or brush? Let's go with a brush. Now did I use... Right, I'll take that out of there. And that there. Okay, I'm just drying my brush off. Now you can see I've only put a little tiny bit of paint onto my mat. Now these mats I've got in my shop if you're interested they are stay put mats they don't move they actually stay put on your surface as you can see and they're non-stick on the set the top but underneath they've got like a silicone rubber that kind of sticks to your surface and they don't budge and they're also a really good thing as well um, especially with doing um, tutorials and live streams and things you can it's because it's white you can see um, the your desk underneath so it kind of blends in a little bit which I quite like 
more than having that your brown traditional um, craft sheet. So I'm just going to put some paint on. Now it doesn't matter any which way you put it on, it really doesn't matter. So I'm going to put that up there. Now I'm not going to wash my brush. I'm going to get, I'm going to go with the orange. Now this one is Tango. Like so. And we're just going to then just start to layer this paint on top. I think that's going to be okay. These night colours are really nice together. I was trying to get um, Jill to come on tonight, Marisol, but um, I think it was a bit short notice for her. I think she needs to, because she's coming next weekend, so I think she needs to see what um, what I'm doing first before she comes and has a look on uh, uh, have a, has a look on here. Oh, oh, thanks, Mayo. Yeah, they are really nice colours. I'm going to add a little bit of red in that. And this one is red lipstick but as per usual I do need to just burst that bit on the top so let's add a bit of red then I'm going to add the yellow I think I might add a bit of dirty lime so let's add a bit of the red just in the top there just in different places and then what I'm going to do is I might just dry this off and then I can put the other colour on top so I do beg your pardon it's going to be really loud I'll cover the microphone so I'm going to get then the this is yellow submarine and this is a translucent again so I'm not going to brush my brush because all these colours will blend together and I should now kind of get a bit of an orange tone going on just where that yellow has touched now I may just put a little bit of the dirty lime on top just to bring a little bit more of those colours out like that there we are so let's get this dirty lime down this is a really vibrant lime colour it is it's really really nice so I'm just going to put that just in a few odd places I'm just going to just add it in touches like so now as I say it might look a little bit of a mess at the minute but wait and see I'm telling you it will just come together really well so I'll give that a quick another quick dry and I'm going to get my stencils out and let's go with a really different colour let's go with the green over the top of that and see oh did you see that that went everywhere knew that was going to happen oh all over my face got to be good luck surely everywhere all on my face, all on my TV, <laughs> all on my light. Oh no, it's everywhere. That will teach me. 
Right, I think I might have to be right back and then just have a quick clean up everywhere. Look, I'll show you. It is on my light. It's on my, it's just everywhere. Uh, so, just give me a second and I'm just going to have a quick clean up everywhere. Hello, I'm back. <laughs> oh, oh, that was just so funny. I it is still over everything. I've got it. It, it was all over my face. It's all in my hair. It, that will um, that will teach me to squeeze the paint bottle, and it then go poof. Let me show you what I've got. So up on my ceiling, up there. And you see, I've got it, it's all on my ceiling, it's on my blind, it's on my TV, it's on my light here. You can just about see there, look. So, and as you can see, on this bit here, um, it has kind of smudged it, but we're going to incorporate that into my design. So, hi Liness, how are you? Anyway, I've been showing your lovely work, Liness, that you did earlier. So, anyway, let's get my stamp, my stencil. So, we're going to stencil. So, I'm going to just this just on parts down here. Now, I'm only going to use sponges, and these are just your ordinary one pound dish cloth ones that you get um, in the cheap shops and we're just going to pounce it on now i'm hoping this is going to look okay um, but if it doesn't it's only a bit of paper and we can then either stamp over it you can then um, gesso over the top of it and restart the whole thing again you can gesso over parts of it um, so nothing is wasted and we can always salvage it so that's that that's quite uh, a vibrant piece so we just go with this one here now I'm going to do this down and that was Captain Peacock So it's even I've even got it. a good job I put an apron on tonight I was going to put on one of my new tops but good job I didn't and Savannah said um, she said um, put your hair up tonight mum just in case you get paint all over it mm. I think she knew something I didn't but there we go Then just you just have to dab. You get an arm workout when you do this. That's another one. I really like that. It's really popping. I'm gonna put this down here and just dab. Like so. Then I'm gonna bring this up here. Like that. I'm still I'm still laughing about what I just did. I can't believe that was just one of those moments. What I think I may use is, I've got a lid here, I might use this lid and just do some little circles. So I'm going to go back in with the Cerise I think, because that, that colour's come up really nice there and I haven't got an awful lot of it. so. Put a little bit of the cerise down so just spread that out because I've got a big a big uh, circle and then just put your mark making tools in 
And then we're just going to add them on like so. Don't worry if they it doesn't get um, the full circle because um, that's the joy of doing something like this. Nothing. It doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm going to put another one there. I'm going to see if I can find a smaller one of something. I'm trying to. Th I'm trying to look on my desk where I might have something that's small. Oh, I see something up there. So let me just get a chair. Aha! Uh -huh. That would be nice. I've got a bobbin here this will be quite good so let's put this in and we're just gonna add this just so that it's coming off of those circles so it's touching them and coming off a little bit like so might do some in the centers there no, but this is just about building up your layers like so and I might use this small one as well just to give a small um, circle yeah that one's quite nice I might go in with a different colour though in a moment. There. Like so. Let me wipe that off. Um right, so different colours. Let's go with got a lot of orange let's go with um, a bit of the yellow and I'm going to use this small one I'm going to put a lot on there and I haven't washed it so I'm just adding just little tiny pieces on it's not even fully on there okay like so and then I'm going to go in with some stamping so I will need to just uh, dry this off so let me get my stamps I'm going to do some um, of the these are Tracy Scott stamps these are the paper artsy ones I like these sketchy flowers I always like sketchy flowers so I'm going to look for my black now so there we go so I've got some black archival and these I'm just going to stamp I've got um, three different sets here so I'm going to do three different flowers and one they can see with the black how it sets that off I love getting all my mixed media things up. I think because of my, I do a lot of um, my memory books and things, I don't always have time to do mixed media things. So I think that's why I'm, I'm going to enjoy doing these types of streams where I can then just get really inky and messy. So I've put my stamps down. Now we can either do one or two things. We can, now I can get my pencils out and we can... Um, just pick out the flowers and make them stand out a little bit more and and then we can do some uh, pen work over the top um, so that's looking it's looking it looks there you go that look, doesn't look as um, garish but in real life it is quite toned down 
there if I hold it that way you might be able to see it a bit better so I think what I'm going to do is get my pencils out and I'll get my watercolour pen pens out and we'll just colour in some of those flowers so I'm going to have some oranges and definitely a red what colour is that one that is carmine I think I can get a yellow there we go a yellow just to pick out these colours here so I'm going to go with the red this is scarlet so I'm just with these these are Ecoli these are watercolour brush pens and they are they're quite good because you can put the colour down like so and you can either drag it out with a water brush like so okay I'll do a couple and show you okay you can see it just changes colour just slightly now if I bring that up you can see where it's a little bit wet um, but we are going to add some what colour is this this is the I can never find it carmine so just add a bit of the this colour in to the bottom like so and we're just going to build up our colour as we go we're just going to keep building it up like that and we're going to bring in some yellow and this yellow is going to go straight onto the top and I'm going to bring that out like that so all I'm doing is just bringing that orange out from on the petals like so it doesn't matter if they're different colours because petals are different colours I'm just going to heat this up Now these are um, just Prismacolors so they're a wax pencil and they do blend really well but they do sit really well over paper artsy paints. Now I did have, but it's disappeared, a blending stump. Right, I've just added just a bit of the pencil and all I'm doing is just building up the colour that's underneath. So I'm not going to do all of those but you can see how that flower now is standing out more than so say this one here. And that's just with building up your colours. Now you can do this with your paints if you've got this. So whatever you've got you can use. You could even put on top of here. Um, I had some of this opal polish from Creative Expressions. I've had it for years, I have to say, and um, I've put that over the top. I've, this is purple, so it won't actually go with this particular um, one. But um, you could put like a gold over the top of that; would look nice. So I'm just adding some yellow to this. Just highlight some of that those petals, and I'm not being particularly careful or anything like that because, as I say, this is going to be cut up, so you're not going to see. Um, a, an awful lot of it anyway so just so what I'm going to here is just a paper stamp and I'm just blending those pencils in because these are a waxy pencil as you're blending with your blending stump it is melting the wax just slightly it's like the friction so now I'm just going to pick out so this particular stamp has got circles as in the middle for the middle of the flower can you see there so what I'm going to do now is just go with my white gel pen I'm just going to fill in those black circles like so now I'm not going to do all of these cars well I might do all of them I've got all night and now I'm just going to highlight these, the petals, just to give some highlights. And it just makes then the page, the petals stand out. And you can do lots of pen work. So you can pick out your stencil, 
you can pick out um, your you know anything like that but I'm actually going to add I want to add some script on here um, I do love a good strip script stamp say that fast and I'm just going to add some here before I carry on even more so I'm going to use this without an acrylic block I know and I'm going to use it up so it's the right way not that it matters because I'm going to do it in different ways yes I need to get my um, one done for Luby Crafts I've got one in August with Luby down in Leighton Buzzard so I'm going to do a, another memory book down there so just wanted to add just a bit of script just over the tops of those just to give it a bit more definition so I'm going to do one more I'm going to do one more here I'm just going to be really quick with these so we can cut it up and then I was going to try and do um, some beads some paper beads but as always I haven't got what I need but I think I know where they are so I could get it in a second so I'm just adding some colour just to these stamps just with these watercolour brushes I will watercolour them out I just want to get a base layer down and then I'm just going to bring this yellow in just to dull it down a little bit so that's near enough dried I really wanted a darker red but I don't know let's see if I can get the other that seems to be a nice darker colour it's a shame my camera does not um, zoom which I'm so annoyed about I, I really wish it would zoom down but it doesn't so I'm, I'm saving up to get one of those um, is it those GoPros that they they seem really good I think Aga's husband was using one at um, 14 craft bar when we went and um, I thought oh I really want one of those so I'm just adding a bit more shading just to this is just the yellow this is very pale yellow but because it's going over the top of that dark orange that's underneath it is actually showing up a little bit so as I say you can see I'm not being very careful I'm just going over them willy-nilly and then you can just very very gently just blend the two together and you can keep going and layering your colours and the more you do the more deeper colours it would get so there's another so I'm going to do this little tiny one here now this is on this green colour oh I like this red let's go with this red this is crimson red so it's like a pinky purpley colour don't know if you can see it there how pink they can't really see that there we go let me move it up a little bit there we go there that one oh Jill I wanted to ask you with when you um, stream on Facebook do you stream just to Facebook or do you stream to somewhere else do you stream to like YouTube or somewhere it's just I'm trying to to see whether I can do the two because I want to stream to Facebook and YouTube because I'm going to do a Facebook live on Sundays so I can finish my project that I did last Sunday now I'm going to go with the purple wasn't I I'm getting this is going really purpley but I like it I'm liking this colour well I'm just adding some white pen work now to the petals I'm just adding a few lines and a couple of dots just to highlight those petals and make them stand out a little bit more I like adding uh, white and black pen work to your backgrounds it really does make all the colors and everything just pop um, so I've done the purple one that really looks nice now 
you can't it's so such a shame let me bring it up you can just about see that purple now on there it looks really nice i like that purple i'm going to do that again in another little flower maybe down here on this one So I'm just going to finish these. I'm just going to keep adding this, adding and adding to these colours just to get them really, really vibrant. Lynesse did one. She did a really, really good one. Uh, Lynn, she did a really good one um, yesterday, um, which was very bright, which was that one. I quite like that one. It's really nice and vibrant. This is that dirty lime, which is a completely different colour on here than what it is on there. It's lovely that one, it's really bright. I just wanted to try something a little different to what I normally do because I normally stick to my browns, you sort of maybe more muted colours, your browns and pinks type ones rather than going really really bright. But I thought this would be just a bit different and it is coming out, coming uh, along very nicely so should I do this one in purple or no I'm going to do one of these down here in purple this one I'm going to keep with the uh, the orange and uh, a bit more in here um, no that colour I was going for no and that wasn't going to be that was going to be the pink purpley colour so I've got this one here is going to be come down here. This is going to be my purple. Was okay. Now this one over here should be dry, dryish. So let's add the reds. Yes, they're Ecoline, Jill. They're um, they the brush pens ones. They buy talons. They are. They're really, really good. And the they they the color, the saturation of color, is really, really good. I mean, these are probably four years old, and they still work as though I've just just bought them off the shop. They they're really, really good pens, and they. The watercolour really works well. Look, see, I won't put too much water on this, um, but they do work really, really well. But they work, I found they work better if you've gessoed something and then you watercolour on the top of them. It doesn't seem to, this paper's not very good, but um, with the paper artsy on the top, it's really held let me be able to blend them a lot right so let's we can then just add the finishing touches to these as you can see i'm just going really really roughly um, i think it just lends itself to being a little bit rough and ready with this type of thing So, just doing my dots make your artwork just pop. It doesn't have to necessarily be white. You could use gold or black or paint pens as well. Right, do this white for this and then we will cut this up. And then I will show you what it looks like cut up. I'm trying to be really quick. I'll do this one here. This little, I'm going to just do this flower. So I don't think I've done this one yet. Right. 
if you were doing this as a background you would probably take a little bit more care but because I'm chopping it up if you go wrong a little bit it's you're not going to see it at all it's going to be hidden I can't believe how quick this week has gone it's just flown by blink and it's Friday again it's just crazy isn't it so I've got this flower here that I've actually I've done my orange on there we go gonna get this yellow in like so and then just blend those out just blend that yellow in add the white I'm adding the white as we go because then it's just adding that pop of color so I'm going to do this one in purple because that comes out really nice so I'll do that in purple and it's a nice color that you can see on camera and it's covering up that yellow sorry that orange really well so this is just an, another color it's a it's like a pinky purple this one that's going over the top and it's very lightly I'm not pressing very hard I'm where I'm going over the darker purple I'm going to use my circular motions just to blend that out a little bit more and then once you get a name on this I've got my name somewhere I left did leave it that I can finish it with like so I've got that little tiny one there blend that out I think these two are my favorite colors these per this purple and this red color or ready pinky color it just really does make everything pop so let's put our white bits on like so and then we go up like so and I've got that one I've got one two three left to do Okay, so now I'm just going to get my trimmer and I'm going to cut them down to three and three quarters, no, three and five of eights and two and a half. So that's one and two and a half again. And two and a half again like so so that's uh, a little tag bits then I'm gonna get the my black card that's here somewhere and I'm gonna cut this um, a, an eighth one eighth bigger so this is at three and a quarter, three quarters by two and five eighths Two and five eighths and two and five eighths like so and then so I've got three 
so now what I'm going to do is just knock that it's not my night for knocking things over I've just knocked sequins everywhere now so I'm going to ink the edges in black and this is going to frame everything that you've done but as you can see where I've made all those flowers even though I've cut it up you can still see all of the detail on them it's a really good way if you make ATCs and you can just chop you can make loads of these masterboards up and then chop them up and then have them ready so you've got your backgrounds ready um, to go to then add different bits on the top so you can add your embellishments and die cuts and things like that so it's a good good quick way although I've taken ages tonight but I've coloured in my flowers. I wanted the flowers to stand out more. So that's why I've taken a bit more time. So then when we map them onto our black. They are really going to stand out. And then what I was going to do. Which I can't find. Is just put my name on there. So that's that one. So let me just go get the names. And put that there. Okay, so just so what I've done is I've just printed out and matted Savannah's name onto some black card. Right, so what I've done is I've just then gone over the tight um, letters of Savannah's name, and and it's not perfect, but then brush lettering wouldn't be perfect, but it looks okay. So then we can put that on there now because I've put this purple on what I may also do is just add a bit of um, bling a bit of this um, opal polish I've got a wet brush here so I'm just going to put some onto my craft mat just to water it down a little bit and then I'm going to use this as a bit of a watercolour now where I've put my white on I don't really want to touch that because it will take the white off because this white pen isn't waterproof but it's just going to add a bit of sparkle to those leaves, those petals so I don't know let me see what it looks like over this can't really see it over that so I'll leave that but I'll leave it on that bit there so let me just uh, give that a blast and then because Savannah likes pink I'm going to give it a little splattering of pink and so these are just Posca pens again I love my Posca pens and just give it a splattering and then I will dry that off before I put her name on so this might take a while I need to get a less noisier one so we can then put this over the top just use some glue you could use foam tape if you wanted but because this is going into a lanyard plastic casing I didn't really want to put anything thicker than that let me just go and get one of those lanyards so then that is going to be the name tags but then these ones are just the the ones that are left so you've got still got all of these and I can go in and add more on top of that if I wanted to but what I might do is use I don't know if, yes I could do I might use that and do this as our beads let's try that with the beads we use this on the back so I think what we do is this let me get a ruler and I'm going to measure two inches so I'm going to go two inches all the way up so four six and then that's my eight because I've got 
extra bit there so I might cut that down just quickly so that I've got just my eight inches like so so I'm there and then at the top here I'm gonna go with one inch so I'm gonna go in between that two then I'm gonna so it's one three five and seven okay then I'm gonna join them up let me move that out of the way so I'm gonna join each dot up horizontally like so so it's one and then my dot there would be the corner like so and you can do this with um, if you've got your pattern paper left over and here and go down like so and then we come up so you can have like one two so you've got like quite a few beads that you can get out of this one sheet of paper because you've got um, each one apart from this one on the side you won't want that one because it's a bit small but all the rest you've got so that one there nearly did it wrong then down like so and then oh, I'm going to go I'll do that one to that one there like so then get a nice big pair of scissors and we're going to just cut your lines out now there are lots and lots of different um, patterns on the internet that you can um, that you can use to make these beads So I won't cut any more up. So now we've cut them up. Now I will just ink my edges on these because I don't want to see that white core. Now I'm, I would use a archival type ink on these rather than maybe a distress ink um, because when you put the your varnish on the top, um, you don't want to make it move I'm only going to do the one so with this I'm going to need my glue so just roll it round and work it down and I'm going to add glue as we go so it's just a little bit so not going right to the end I'm just rolling it round so that that glue is then going to roll with your paper okay rolling it round now as you go down the your paper will go that's it we're getting there go 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 a bit more there we are right i'm not going to put any more glue on there yet because that's just nice there we go keep going keep going okay I can bring it up I can bring it round and I can start just to twist it now making sure that you are level both sides that's it so I'm just going to bring that down a bit more because I was kind of like going let's skew with there we go keep going round and you can make different sizes different widths lots of different things and then you can varnish this when it's um, stuck so I'm going to bring that round and then just keep going round with that glue because that glue is going to then stick that end piece on like so and then what you can do is varnish it I've got so some take it off and then once you varnish it there's your little bead and you can string that with um, some ribbon put some little beads on the bottom to stop it from going um, from the for them 
the ribbon coming out uh, and then you can put them on the side of your journals and put all different sizes different widths and things like that so you just end up with a lovely little bead that was that so i hope you've enjoyed that um it's been lovely having you here really has oh the glue that i'm using is um this here it is sticks to um everything there we go let me move you back up again and we can see what, what i'm doing here um and it's a, a hobby and craft ph neutral 3d pva glue um it's really really good it's permanent and it when it dries it dries clear like most of them do but um, this one doesn't wrinkle your paper and now I just decant it into these little um, bottles so thank you ever so much for joining me I've really really enjoyed talking to you it's been lovely right well I'm gonna go I'm gonna get to bed now and um, I'm gonna go and have a cup of tea actually and um, have a little bit of so I might have some toast or something like that because I'm I'm hungry so thanks for watching and I will probably see you again very soon I dare say so good night thanks bye bye